Noob School. By winning. With Hengus and Big C. At this time, I would like to take a moment to announce the realm in which we'll be leveling for this epic series. But before I do so, I would like to unveil a short disclaimer. If you should choose to attempt to gank or otherwise attack Curtis or myself during our leveling experience with an unreasonable advantage, not only will I cyber slap you so hard that the skin will peel off of your face, but I will also publicly humiliate you for all of the interwebs to see by crucifying your character and building a campfire upon its corpse. And believe me, we will be replaying it on many live shows to come. Thank you. Hey there, friends and viewers. This is Hengist with TGN.TV, and my goodness, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm so excited. The first episode of Noob School by Winning with Hengist and Curtis. Say hi, Curtis. Hey, guys, what's up? This Big C. <laughs> yeah, by Winning is in effect. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And we are both level 45. We've decided to start leveling in the Badlands. I believe this zone has been changed in Cataclysm. Not entirely sure on that. It looks like these are some new horde settlements right across the valley here. So I'm pretty damn excited. I haven't seen any of this new stuff, and I'm ready to go. Oh, first yeah. things first, Curtis. Let's go ahead and tell them how you came across that cat. I was actually leveling on Curtis's account about a week ago. <laughs> yep. And uh, I found this rare spawn with his glowing red eyes, and we've yet to name it. So, you know... We're going to do that. This is a ceremonial thing to kick things off. Do you know how to name your pet, Curtis? I do believe I do. What name are we going to... Tiger are we gonna Blood, name? in honor of Mr. Sheen. Oh, yeah! The progenitor to the by-winning title. Go right ahead. Oh, my God. I got Tiger <laughs> Blood. I got Adonis DNA, bitches. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. That's tiger a Blood. great way to kick things off here. Let's pick up these quests. Curtis, Hell these are yes. all new to me, so... Heck, yes. Yeah. Survival of the Fattest. Looks like we're going to well, gain be fine. some meat and some silk. That's a grinding quest. We haven't really decided um, exactly what we're going to do with the questing parts of things, guys. I think we're just going to chop it up a little bit. We don't want to show you really boring stuff, but at the same time, we want to explain this content to you. And yes. uh, just right off the bat, the directive of this series is to be both entertaining and educational, as we've already talked about. Oh, my. What's that big-ass tiger? What the? This must be a omen here curtis get get a load of this what do you see we have a rare spawn and his name is broken Dude, tooth i want to fucking i want to friggin get this guy right now your pet's much more rare than him but you know he might have something special so here we go here we go okay i want to send him away dismissing pet no you're not oh, gonna I... tame him yours is more well, unique oh but so i don't has... i only have one pet he has no glowing eyes you don't need to duplicate your cat. Oh, look at that DPS. Yes. What do we Epic. have? Epic. Some cloth pants, and they are not an upgrade for me. Sad face. So, guys, listen up. I think the first episode we're going to do is just going to be leveling one level through quests. Um, but we will be doing dungeons and battlegrounds alike. So, uh, you guys got to... We want you to kind of manage the way we level by letting us know in the comments below exactly what you want to see. So for right now, we're just going to mount up and go do some of these quests here. We're going to go slay some dust belchers. How does that sound? Let's go mess these bastards up. <laughs> All right, folks. Now, we are fully aware, as you are, that there's more than one leveling series on this channel already. But you know what? This is the Hengist Big C edition. So I'm not... Exactly. <laughs> we just aggroed a ton of tigers here. Wow. Yeah, but I've got tiger blood and Adonis DNA, so I'm not concerned. All right, Curtis, get off the mount. Let's kill some tigers. I'm messing this guy up. Fear not, it's Big C. Where is my freaking cat? I sent him away. You I should probably him. bring him back. Come on up, Tiger Blood. Okay, go. There Another go. thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, dude. I didn't mean to cut you off. You are Beast Mastery, right? Yes, I'm Beast Master, and I currently have no uh, add-ons right now. Um, it is ultra minimalist. Uh, I have experimented with all sorts of add-ons and drugs, but <laughs> mostly add-ons. <laughs> and uh, 
Uh, I've gone with none right now, and I'm going to be taking Hengist's opinion as we go, uh, of course, and also, uh, you know, viewer opinions. If you use add-ons and you're a hunter, you know, I'm interested in what you guys use too. So I'm going to mix it up and try a little bit of everything. So Sounds good. Dust okay, Belcher. so those are the guys we got to kill. I'm going to chain pull a few of them. Before we get All started, right. I actually realized that I'm wearing heirloom gear. So as soon as I find replacements, I'm going to take those off. So I don't Take leave it you off. in the dust. But right now I don't have any replacements, so. This is how Hengus... Oh, come on, Curtis. I just wanted to kill that guy. He was in my way. He's fat, like me. This is how Hengus levels. For those of you who don't understand the magnitude of my epicosity. <laughs> Ooh. I like... Oh, dude, you're just pulling, like, the whole crew. I like it. I Let's think do I'm this. underestimating my... Or overestimating my mana pool here. That's I don't know, and you messed those dudes up pretty good, I'm not going to lie. We got a healer shaman over here. Alright, oh, I'm sending into Kitty. Shadow word death. That's like a kill shot for shadow priests. Gotta love it. So that's six. That was pretty quick. But the problem is, my mana efficiency is <laughs> like a freaking Hummer H1 on unleaded fuel. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm a little sleepy. I don't know why. All right, Curtis, here's what we're going to do. Yep. You're going to Serpent Sting this pack, and I'm going to dot up the rest. Comprende, muchacha? All of them? You want me to circle all these fuckers? Oh, yeah. Serpent Sting, man. One, two, three, four, five of them. Sending in the kitty. Oh, look at that fatty. One guy's guy. running away like a little friggin' bitch. <laughs> Why is he running like that? Oh, what did you cast on him? Uh, some fears. Okay. Where are my dots, Curtis? Come on. Dude, I got them all over these pricks. Oh, my man is so bad. I'm already oom. See how, how come? Works, so how come? Why is that? Just so I would know. Uh, it's viewers just the nature of the class at this level. I mean, I'm oh, really? geared out the ass as I can be. I even got a. OP enchant on my staff. Yet, um, the problem is Shadow Priests used to have something called Spirit Tap, which was a first tier talent. Yep. Uh, and that would essentially, after you kill something that it yields experience or honor, would boost your spirit by like 300% or something, and you would just regenerate mana like crazy. Uh, but since now spirit does not affect DPS classes, then it's kind of void. That was it was removed from the game. So, all right. So that's our first quest of this series. You see that? You see how quick we got through that? That's pretty efficient. Yeah. Are we gonna turn it in, or do you want to fuck some, freak some other guys up? We gotta, we gotta do this other one down here. All right. Quest efficiency, bro. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not really sure if we're gonna be fast forwarding through this stuff. We're gonna have to play it by eye. I want to try to keep these episodes around a half an hour long. Okay. That seems reasonable. But yes, we do not want to be rendering things like crazy doing these by winning series. I want to take it easy on my CPU for once, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you render a lot of shit. What kind of CPU do you got, by the way? Like, what are you, what are you running over there? I got the Intel Q66, no, 6700 Quad. <laughs> okay, so you got some, you got some muscle there. Yeah, it's about equivalent to an i5 these days. What the hell okay. is with this mana? Is this, I got the best drink I can have. Look at how slow it goes. Jesus. All right, so in here, we're looking for some meats and some silks. That guy is looking to die. We can be a little more aggressive, Curtis, since we're two manning this, so. Yeah. You can run in there and start serpent stinging some stuff up and just kite him out here. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I got this thing called Vampiric Embrace that um, heals you for 3% of the damage you deal. Okay. So this is actually one hell of a leveling combo because um, we both have dots, considerable dots. 
So we can just do that. The more damage we deal, the more healing we do. So it should um, scale like a linear graph of, in terms of how many enemies we can take down. Because if we keep dots up on all the targets, we should be able to outlive all of their damage. Does that make sense? Yeah, that what is a what is a hunter like a beastmaster or a marksman hunter slash shadow priest combo in uh, in like PvP? How does that usually work? Beast would you master, rank shadow priest like a arena team? Yeah, would you rank it as a good team, bad team? Hunters aren't all that popular in arenas these days because they don't have um, the burst damage they used to. I mean, marksman has decent burst damage, but the reality is. They have to be able to kill healers by themselves, and they can't really do that right now. Right. So, uh, I don't know. I would say in a DPS combo, that'd be one of the better ones. But typically, you want to combo a Shadow Priest um, with a melee class because of the fears and the snares and dots. And Yeah, I don't know. So I, I wouldn't recommend it for, like, a late, late game combo. Yeah. So, is the Hunter kind of useless in pvp then would you say or no no they're really good in battlegrounds in battlegrounds okay um and they're supposed to be i mean ideally blizzard would be balancing arenas you know properly but yeah the mechan the idea of arenas was actually added after the game was already released so you know vanilla had been around for i don't know a few months before arenas were added okay and so the game wasn't designed to be balanced in arenas. Certain classes just aren't as strong as others, and that's the bottom line. Historically, Huntress have been really strong, um, but lately, not so much. But they're pretty strong in, in PvE. They're like the top of the oh, DPS yeah. charts, yeah. Yeah, I was actually... Um, I put up a dungeon thing the other day, or uh, the other week, yeah. on TGN, and I talked a little bit about how I think it's overpowered, because... My hunter in questing greens was doing 12,000. Whoa! He's doing 12,000 DPS, and I don't even think my mage can do that much. And he's in. He's in here. Really? Here. Yeah. Okay, so we're supposed to collect this meat hanging from the ceilings. How many is, silks do you have, by the way? Uh. I have. I have all the. I got. I need one more meat. I don't think I have any. I got like. Dick all silks, like one or two. Okay. Um, I've been jacking all the silks though. So this will probably be a time where we either fast forward or we just cut out. Okay. And fade in. So I'm thinking we'll probably cut from here back to turning in the quests. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. There, guys, uh, we're back. We don't want to have yeah. to show you all that grinding, collecting meat hanging from ceilings and silk cloths from baskets. Not all that interesting. We'll <laughs> show you the good parts. We're gonna turn it these looks quests. like my room, dude. <laughs> it looks like my room. I've got meat hanging from my ceiling, too. So. <laughs> what the hell? Try not to judge. <laughs> no, actually, that's totally bizarre. We, <laughs> Let's do this. So sick. We just got done k killing a ton of ogres back there. So uh, hopefully you're not a big fan of Shrek. Otherwise, you might be a little offended by that. That's what Storm? we cut out, though. <laughs> okay, I have a serious question here, Hengus, and this this requires uh, you to do some thinking because I can't figure this out. Okay. I have currently I have a zombie shotgun, and you have to understand I love that shit. It's an awesome name. Um, <laughs> but when I turning in half ton holdouts, it gives me the option to give a storm's bow. Now this has ten point eight more DPS per second, which is a fucking big jump, but it has minus four agility. Yeah. Plus four strength, plus one stamina, which aren't a big deal. It's a really is this a strange bow that it has strength on it. That's very peculiar. Yeah. That means it's designed for a warrior. Oh. Exclusively. So like I a mean, champ. The increase in the DPS would help you, but I don't think it would justify the loss of that agility. Really? Yeah. Oh, you know. Hunters, um, they operate on ranged attack power. It's abbreviated RAP. And they get ranged attack power from agility and raw attack power, but strength only gives them regular attack power, which is contributed to melee. So unless you're raptor striking your enemies, which is a melee attack, then strength yeah. is completely worthless. Interesting. Okay, because my bow is actually really crappy right now. Or my gun, I suppose. We're going to have to wait till another upgrade. So we just got done with those quests, and it looks like yep. we have one to turn in back here, titled Down to the Scar. Now this is interesting because I haven't been here since Cataclysm came out. And this, my friends, is supposedly where Deathwing emerged, or something along those lines. As you can see, he kind of just 
tore this gigantic hole in the middle uh -huh. of this valley. <laughs> so I think this is actually a pretty uh, popular quest here. I haven't done it yet. Yeah. So do you yeah. want to do this one, Curtis? They're going to tell Let's us a bunch of do stories. do this shit. Okay. Hell yeah. The day that Deathwing came. So it's a little cinematic here. Yeah, let's go ahead and show this. I know that they used to cover this in the beta footage, but... Yep. I think all these guys are going to tell their own unique story. The dwarf thinks he's a tough guy, punching dragons in the face and whatnot. <laughs> he's <laughs> drunk. I've done it. Drunk. Okay, let's punch these... Theldurn's fist. Who needs a beat? Look, we cloned the damn guy. There's two of the same dwarf. Us. So we gotta kill five of these elementals. Bam. Headshot. Alright, you bastards. Get punched. Oh, in the face! <laughs> in the face! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like Rocky Marciano here. Yeah, the haymaker. Muhammad Ali. Mm. Have you watched the latest Tyson stuff? He thinks he's, like, he plays with birds and stuff now. The guy's what? lost his shit. Yeah, man, he's like a birdman now. First sheet, now Tyson? Come on, let's go. Quit farting around up there. All right, I'm just punching these guys. I'm plays good. With I think. birds, huh? What, is he like the Caesar Milan of the cage? He's, okay. he's a weird dude, man. That's all I'm going to say. Speaking of birds, I was at work the other day. A lot of my fans know that I work in a warehouse. And, uh... <laughs> You know Costco, right? They have Costco's in uh, Canada, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Costco's a huge corporation. Anyways, it's they got those big-ass open doors, right? It's just There's no sliding door or any of that. There's like a flock of birds that flew into the warehouse the other day, Sunday. It was literally like four birds. They were flying around in the warehouse, shitting all over the food and everything. It was oh, ridiculous. Man. That's crazy. <laughs> I was just laughing my ass. Dude. The Costco guys, drives me nuts, but yeah, go ahead. Gotta get a lot of Indian guys, and they're like, "Why are these birds flying in the store?" <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want me to do about it, sir, man? What do you, what do you mean, one of these birds flying at the stores? Because we we sell birds now, ass face. <laughs> yeah, of course, no, like, dude. Come here, some slack. I didn't let him in. All right, let's let's cruise through here, Curtis. You're taking way too long back there. We got. Like, I know. I'm enjoying this quest. That get pa -pa over punch. here. Pup pup poker face. Foul yeah, Lee Gaga. Lee Gaga has the hottest body and a face like a forklift. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I agree with the face and the forklift forklift statement. I can't say I think she has the hottest body. I gotta show you some stuff, dude. I got some pictures for you that maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, she's well, pretty, she's not the hottest. She's, she's but her body's proper. She's pretty scandalous. I've seen uh, I've seen her wear some pretty skimpy clothing. Maybe you just have low standards, Curtis. Well, we all know that, dude. <laughs> dude, I put someone in a skirt, and I'm like, is she alive? Yep, okay. okay. Hold on a second. Okay. I need you to sponge some of this damage over here. I'm fucking punching people left and right, and uh, I need some help. All right, hang in there. Oh, I'm going to pu pu punch my pu pu poker face. Take oh, that, dangerous. <laughs> take that, you prick. You're going down. Oh, this is fantastic. Wow, man, I just punched into... What am I? Drunk? What's going on here? Oh, look, oh that's Lord it. I'm going to start spamming it. Check this out, Curtis. Watching. I'm watching. This is um, Deathwing in his humanoid form. Up here. Get up here. They oh, call look, him it's, Lord it's, Prestor. Oh. oh, hi, Deathwing. <laughs> I made fun of this guy in a previous video. If you've seen Ysera... Oh, we're going to punch him. Oh, headshot. I'm going to punch him in the nuts. In the nuts! <laughs> Why did I get warped out? I punched him in the bag. Because we completed the dwarf story. That was pretty awesome, I gotta tell you. I like that. I punched Deathwing in the nuts. <laughs> so now this gnome is gonna... Oh, no. We're gonna punt this gnome. I hate gnomes. Everybody knows I do. Okay, so now we're gonna listen to this little guy's story. Oh, it's gonna be tough to follow up after that dwarf. No, that was pretty. That was an epic quest. I dug it, man. Yeah, have you seen your Sarah's humanoid form? My God, now that's a perfect body. <laughs> hmm. She's pixel perfection. Really? Yeah, she's in high jaw. So would I have like a fap attack during oh, yeah. a yeah. um yeah d during a video? <laughs> yeah. I've got Pixie, a... what are you doing? Uh, I'm filling in my coloring book. <laughs> I've got a legitimate crush on her. Okay, so uh, we shrink the world, apparently. Naturally. What the f- 
Jack and the Beanstalk, what up? More like Grow the Gnome. My goodness, what the hell? Oh, dude, is this like some sort of crazy gnome Viagra? What kind of growth hormones is this guy take and hook it up? Okay, My so God, dude, I am... If you feel two hands on your shoulders, dude, do not <laughs> start to sweat. I am not that kind of gnome, man. What's up? <laughs> All right, so Bite the pillow. Go keep ahead. Keep getting big, big enough until you can reach the clouds. What the f? This is strange. I gotta zoom out the camera. Like, oh, here's a cloud. Yeah. So we search in the cloud. These guys, these guys are pro at telling tall tales. I tell you, man. Fiction <laughs> at its finest. Look at this. <laughs> Alliteration in action. Holy shit, there, Mister. You know your uh, tropes, if I don't mind saying. <laughs> this is what happens when you read too much poetry. You turn into a wimp like me. All right. Where'd you run off to? My guy's not really doing so good here. You gotta search the clouds, bro. Oh, oh my god. I feel like a bad rap video. What the... F what? How the fuck do you search the clouds? <laughs> the roof. Okay, well, I'm looking at the goddamn clouds. I don't see uh -huh. any. You know what this reminds me of? Shadow of the Freaking Colossus. You ever played a PlayStation 2? I have. I own one, actually. I think Shadow of the Colossus was rated the greatest PS2 game of all time. And this For real? reminds me of it totally. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done with my five clouds. How about you? I ain't done shit. I don't even know where to go. Oh. Okay, so I look up and what? What do I see? Did you, do we share the same amount of? I'm going to say probably because I can't do shit. I'm useless. More useless than normal. <laughs> you don't know how to search the clouds. Um, I do actually. Let me, show me a cloud. I'll search it. Where do we? Right over there. Let's see if this dude can point. No, he Where? can't point. See that big wispy thing over that tree? Come on now. Okay. You searched zero of five clouds right here, Curtis. The cloud. There you go. Now I gotta oh, find four yeah. more. What the hell? I'm trapped. There we go. That'll teach you. Look at this dude's jump. He jumps like a foot off the ground. You're like all the more like, reason to hate gnomes. Can you imagine? Being in elementary school with a gnome, you're the last to pick for sports teams every time. Every time. Oh, we're playing kickball. Okay, well, let's pick Hengus and Big C late last because they're, well, they're gnomes. Just totally. use the gnome you can, as a kickball. You can, you can, like, not talk to them, too. That's okay. Hey, okay, I don't see any more clouds. You search see? Oh, you're, this. Search it. Where are you at? This one right here. Right here. I don't see you can't miss the gigantic gnome. And here's another one. Ooh, I wish you could attack the Horde City like this. How awesome would that be? Do you think these guys have massive set of nuts on them? <laughs> now that they're like this big? Could you imagine like if if your stuff just like you know, went times ten? That would be <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry, but that would be a hell of a trick. What would you do with it? I would hump the world, dude. I would like <laughs> I would like dig a hole in Mother Earth and just pound it. Oh I would like <laughs> Tally would be like my bitch. Oh be like, what do you think of this, Tally? Yeah, you and your big hammer of you know what? Well, look at this. Tea this is a Earth. real hammer. Sorry, what? See Tally teabag planet Earth. Yeah, <laughs> Earth humper. <laughs> okay, right. I've done all five of five. The clouds are good. Okay, uh, I now started to hunt for Deathwing in the clouds. What the I look. Hell? Oh, we gotta look up. Yeah, I know. I have a bad feeling. Like, I think he's stalking us, dude. I think we're being stalked by Deathwing or something. <laughs> what the hell? All right, we're I'm in to the fast tomb. forward this part. Where'd you just go? I was just looking at the tomb of the Watchers. Oh, so apparently he's hiding in the sun. Mm. Coming out, you little bitch. That's enough. Let's see how this works. All sun. Look at this. It's like a neutron star. What? I got a tree it's stuck on my nuts. Dude, homeboy just grabbed Deathwing like a. What the hell? 
Wow. It's not every day you get to manhandle Deathwing. That's incredible. That's not true. That might tell my girlfriend every day she gets to do that. <laughs> but Deathwing doesn't always mean what we all. Oh, look at this, cowardly Deathwing. I'm going to bash your lights out. <laughs> oh my god, I beat him like a mule. This is hilarious. Dude, what a great, goofy quest. Let's turn this shit in. Awesome, huh? I very much enjoyed that one. Apart this was a good place around. to start the series, man. Good call. Definitely. I didn't even expect this. Okay, so now we got the orc. orc is oh, are we going to do another goddamn... Blood rained from the skies? Mm. What the F? Hey, guys, since I look so much like Edward Cullen, I would probably like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she's foxy. Look at that chick. Right. Moose blood. <laughs> What's up? Oh, yeah. let me into this hot rod. The moose, the moose blood. What the hell? Hop in, baby. Let me okay. out of here. Oh, hop in, baby. Yeah, there we go. Let's roll! What did they expect me to pick? That hideous orc or the homo blood elf there? Come on now. Get in my... Trump. <laughs> Get in my belly. All right, so we got a. Yeah, this is like a speed racer. Rat. Damn, look at that. These things fly. I can get me. Oh one of these. my god, yeah. <laughs> I'm liking this. <laughs> I want one of these, man. I know. Imagine having one of these in a battleground. You capture the flag, jump in this little cockpit thing, and just like bam. Oh, that's epic. Nitrous oxide. <laughs> Totally, this is like Fast Too Furious or whatever that 5,000 part series with those shitty actors is. Too Fast Too Furious? Yeah, that's the one. Tokyo Drift? It's one of the worst Tokyo movies Drift, yeah, I've ever okay. seen. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Okay, I couldn't to, watch it. Just to find him and then beat him in a knife fight, how sweet is that? Hey man, that's how shit used to get sorted out back when men were men. Nowadays there's all these metrosexuals with their... <laughs> scarves and their frigging man purses. No, man. You don't like me. I don't like you. We're going to sort this shit out with Damn a knife. What the f That's how it's supposed to be, dude. I just jumped That's out. That's why of I like Warcraft. Yeah. You can, like, sort this shit out. Like, well, let's just fight then. This is okay. absurd. What are we doing? I was... I got out of the bike to fight him in a knife fight and then it reset the damn cinematic <sighs> the, the whatever that's all right this time i'll pick the night elf chick she's hot here we go what am i supposed to do i'm just like floating around here Beat like him in a knife fight you noob go to the top of the pillar i can't get up kick his ass i'm gonna cut this bitch up is that what your girlfriend said the other night when i got into a night fight with no, her no, no. like i can't get up <laughs> oh no, she knows I can't. Oh wait, hold on, dude. That's I know where you're going with that. Oh, I can. I had to. I had to roofie her just so I could get some sleep, dude. <laughs> she talks too much. That's what I'm getting at. I gotta. Normally, roofies are for other things. I'm like, no. You know what? Either you're taking it or I'm taking it because I'm not listening. Yeah, guys, listen up. Before we started filming this first episode, Curtis was on the phone with the girl for like 25 minutes. Yep. I was just sitting there eating a sandwich. Like, God, Lee whole time he was he put me on hold it, yeah and i actually let him listen to my my call and i was like where's my sandwiches bitch and i'm like yeah you know i'm kidding kind of but i'm not but uh whatever i, I tried to act tough so it worked <laughs> so what am i supposed to do fuck fuck this stupid quest it's pissing me off now you're waiting for me you completed tell it. me that story again do i gotta do this shit again i hope not fuck this dumb Stupid quest. Did you... What happened? I'm in a cinematic, and I'm on a goddamn motorcycle again. Yeah, You gotta fly to the top of the pillar. I tried to. And talk to Deathwind. Fight? Don't talk to him, just go up to him. Who am I fighting, by the way? Deathwind. Oh, look at this. I'm like, like NASA here, dude. I'm firing off, but I can't move. Alright, I'm gonna cut transmission until you return, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. We had to wait for Curtis to lollygag around in his flying motorcycle. Yeah. 
That is enough time of that. Okay, we're gonna run straight through this scar here. We are not phased right now. Oh, this is bad news. That was probably wasn't a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to go around. I don't wanna get owned by a bunch of rock elementals. But yes, we are going to egg Mon's end up here. How many bars in, or how many bars away are you from the next level, Curtis? I need exactly five bars and like a third. Five and a third. Christ, I gotta get the, I gotta take this heirloom gear off. Next episode will be a different story. We'll even out the end. So when I hit 60, or when I get 46, we'll conclude and then we'll get you to 46 and then the next episode will be evened out. Yeah. Sound good? I like it. I like that motorcycle quest we were just on, by the way, man. It's like, we're going to go fight Deathwing, but before I do that, i got to get some hot chick to jump in my motorcycle. <laughs> exactly. That's how, like, dudes are supposed to roll. Uh oh. Literally. Yeah. I got an elite mob up here. You wouldn't happen to have a tenacity pet, would you? I only have one pet, and uh, I let my other pet go because I was going to tame another or something, but no, I do not. We got to get you a tenacity pet. Like a bear? Yeah. Okay, this is bad news. How did this happen, Curtis? What did I do? Mm. All right, let's try to yeah, I just it. rocked that dude, man. I messed his shit up. <laughs> See that? Let's try to trek across this scar here. That guy, he, he knocked me off my horse. He bit the dust quite literally. Did you see how he dematerialized? I did. I did. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh, come on. Let's get up there. See, unlike for it. Curtis, guys, Hengus can get up. Whoa, 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 <laughs> brother. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a point. Yeah, I, I got real problems with my, uh, <laughs> with my um, come spell Come on, cast. jump down there. I'm just running along the side. I'm not... I'm exploring, dude. That's what part of yeah, the fun of... Yeah, yeah. Exploring, exploring the... I'm not lost. Uh, Christopher Columbus here, guys. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, except... Do you know much about Christopher Columbus? If you don't, he's not as good a person as a lot of people think he was. But. What you know about Leif Erikson? <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Reader, I have 4,000 books in my in my room. <laughs> yes, I have 4,000. And it's not even an exaggeration. Um... I literally have them packed up in, in uh, at my my stepdad's warehouse. Uh, I'll books. tell you what, Mister Pike. When I was in third grade or so, where the hell's the quest hub around here? I think it's up here. I thought you're still in third grade. <laughs> no, I graduated a couple months ago. Okay. Um, but I did a report on Leif Erikson. You know who that is? Of course. The, oh uh, my goodness. What's going on here, dude? Are you Do trying to get me? Do not go any further down that direction. There is a level 85 elite mob over there. These fuckers are throwing dynamite at me or something. They look like picks. Wow, well, whatever. Scary. Either way. <laughs> Anyways, Leif Erikson. Leif Erikson. Erikson. Yes. yes. He, uh, Tell me about him. The Viking yep. leader who just happened to discover North America, what was it, like 200 years before Columbus? Exactly, he and did. Yet we get all these bozo Americans that are just like, oh yeah, Columbus Day. <laughs> no yeah, they found he found Newfoundland. Actually, that's where the most messed up Canadians in the world live, in my opinion. And I'm allowed to get away with that because my family is Newfie in by origin. So, interesting. Um, it might explain a lot. Newfoundland, 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 and Labrador. It, it, some people call it Labrador. And Newfoundlanders. Yeah, and he he established a settlement there, like he you said. Well before Columbus showed up, but there, check this out. jump off there. Yeah, oh, I know. We're gonna we're gonna farm the heck out of these guys. We gotta kill right. fifteen of them. Jump down there, bro. You got levitate. I messed this dude up. Come on, bro. I got tiger blood. <laughs> tiger blood. I'm jumping in. Crap. What? The dude, I'm feeling depressed. Do you want me to jump? No, because you don't have levitate anymore. Let's just kill these suckers. But I still think I can make it. Uh, I'm not uh, a fan. I'm on a drug called Charlie Sheen. Boom! It's not I available. Jump. If you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off, and your children will weep over your exploded body. Exploded body. <laughs> You've yeah. seen that, right? That you know viral what? is hell video <laughs> remix. <laughs> well, that's that sounds like somebody needs some help. Oh, I. I gotta play it for you right now. You hear me, viewers? One second. You're gonna lose your fraps. No, I'm not. Okay. Dude, I got dual monitors. You keep killing these things. Go, 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 go. Go, go, gadget arm. 
Oh, go, cat! Go, can't, cat, go! I can't believe you haven't heard this, Curtis. Fucking He-Man's cat was in that shit all the time. Listen, what was listen, that guy? Listen. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I want a drug culture on machine. It's not available. If you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off. You'll be your body. You'll be your body. You love to party. What's not to love? The world I was on made Dagger and Richard look like droopy eyed armless children. That's how I parted. That's how I parted. I was banging seven gram rocks. That's how I roll. Winning. Oh, I have one yeah. year go. Are you bipolar? I'm bi-winning! Seven gram rocks, nice. I can't, I can't believe you haven't heard that before, Curtis. What's I think wrong I've with heard you? part of that. There's a lot wrong with me. You have to some be kind coping. of a disorder? You haven't heard that? I have a variety of disorders, unfortunately. <laughs> but most of them are, are, are being actively monitored and managed by experienced and expensive medical <laughs> uh, practitioners. It's not available if you try it. Once you'll die, your face will melt off. Your children will be over exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That just seems I right. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so we got to... These guys are dropping something. They're dropping a shadow stout. And we're going to have to fast forward this part because nobody wants to watch us kill a bunch of these suckers. And transmission. <laughs> okay, five minutes later, and after grinding all these damn dwarves... We are Fuck. just about ready, guys, to ding. 46th. Oh, huh. yeah! 46th time! <laughs> Apparently, if you... Where'd you go? Jump oh. off, or if you mount after levitating, it dispels your levitate. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got some aggro here, guys. Oh, no! I have fallen down, and I cannot get up. Literally, I'm fucking stuck between <laughs> a mountain and a fence. How did this happen, dude? I fell in there, too. I got out. How did you get out? Well... Part of that is being hangus, the other part is not having a brain tumor. Just I don't jump there you just jump forward left to right. Oh my god, dude. I can't get I'm listen! <laughs> I'm fucking stuck! Oh, this goodness. is hilarious! This is not good. Dude! This is gonna ruin the series. Well, how did I even manage to do all this? Right, right. Like just simmer down. Oh no, I just leveled. Can you teleport me? <laughs> I just leveled to 46. Yay! Alright, we gotta figure out how to get Big C dude. out of this little butt crack he found himself in over here. I know I'm a, I need to go on a diet, dude. I figured that shit out. I'm a fat kid. Kind of. I'm a pudgy I'm a pudgy guy. I understand that. But I am stuck okay, Chris, between a fence. Here's what we're gonna do. How close are you? To getting out of this fence? Fuck all. To, to 46. 46? I am three quarters of a bar. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Hengus specialty pull here. To <laughs> what? And you're gonna pull my finger. We're gonna level you, and then we're gonna Hearthstone out of here. So that's How do good. I level out of here? You're getting credit for these kills. That's the deal. Whoa! But so, I should turn in that quest. No. I know, but since you're stuck, we don't want to show the viewers you hearthing out and then being a big C and you know all that. My character has like all sorts of awesome rainbow colors on his on him. Like he's just. Like, he's totally... Say what? Awesome. Like, look at my character. He looks like he's on fire. He's like on purple rainbow fire. What the hell are you talking about? Check my shit out, man. Have you been banging seven gram rocks? This makes I've been sense. hitting seven gram rocks pretty freaking hard, dude. Dude, oh wow, man. Drugs are bad. Holy shit. What's going on? How many Red Bulls is it before you've had too many? Do you know the number? I don't... Well, actually, I have fiber energy. Do you know that shit has... 8,000% of your daily dosage of vitamin B12. You know what that vitamin does? No. Nope. It speeds up your metabolism. I That's why you're one, slim. I was on one of those things, and I swear to God, I was seriously about to like have a heart attack. So I wouldn't know about Red Bulls, but I definitely know about 5-Hour Energy, and I can tell you a quarter of one of those bottles is too much. <laughs> really? Yeah, you don't mess around with those things. All right, you've got to be close now, right? Have you ever mixed those five-hour energies with a, uh, a thing of Viagra? Because that's awesome. <laughs> In theory, I would not know this because no, I don't need Viagra. Viagra's yeah, for yeah. noobs. You do know I'm 20, right? I know, but I'm just making a joke. I'm like the, <laughs> I'm like the peak of my, uh, my manhood yes, right now. <laughs> In your in your good years, absolutely. <laughs> well, just so you know, it doesn't get any... Uh, it, it continues to 
go on for quite some time. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. I had a co-worker I'm... a while ago. He was like 52. Horniest man I ever met. I just don't understand it. I thought women were supposed to get like that. What the heck? They do. Oh, boy. Well, I know women do, but I didn't know guys were like that. Okay, what the... I'm still stuck in a fence. Here, maybe a little tape will work. My friends call me Big, Big C. C. Oh, on. yeah. How close I are am you? stuck in a fence. How close are you? I am like one third of a bar away. I feel like tits in a fence. They're useless. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean. This is absurd. That's I am. I literally cannot get out. Do you remember those videos where help? I, I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah, the, you ever seen those commercials? Those yeah, old people with the laying on the floor and they're like, "Yeah, do you ah. want this to happen to you?" It's well, like, that has happened to me. It's like Soviet literally. propaganda, man. It's bad. It's like fear tactics. Yeah. In America, <laughs> even my cat is stuck. I need a fireman to get me out of the tree or whatever. What the? F I can't believe you got stuck in there. This is ridiculous. Dude, I'm not making this shit up, man. I don't know how this oh, happened. I see it. I just didn't think that was possible. It's possible, dude. I'm dead serious. You've got to be close now, Chris. I am, like, probably one kill, maybe two away. And I'm banging a fucking space bar. <laughs> Can I, like, set this fence on fire or some shit and just get out? This isn't magic up, bro. Ah. Oh, I'm going to kill that prick. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Curtis. Worthless. Dude, I, this is this is about the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I've been called a noob before, but this really is taking the effing cake. <laughs> this really, really is. You're still not level. This is ridiculous. All right. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I really wasn't anticipating Mr. Big C to be such a letdown. I'm sorry. That's what my girlfriend says all the time, dude. Why do you got to do that? That's not nice. <laughs> what, are you expecting more? You had an... Unexpected surprise. Oh, not on my face. I've heard it all, pal. That had to have done it, right? <sighs> no. What happened to the one kill, Curtis? I don't know. I guess I can't really measure. Uh, I know I am exactly one kill away now because I am like. I just a killed someone. Bajillion millions of a millionth away from leveling, but I didn't get the XP for that. It's too far away from me. <laughs> no, you're lying to me. Alright, this better do it, otherwise I'm gonna bitch slap you like you've never been slapped before. And don't beat me up. Here we go. Three, two, one, Shadow of Death. <laughs> Why did I not get the XP for that? Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna book my cab to Vancouver tomorrow. Oh no! And you have a passport? You bet your Shit. ass I have a passport. Oh man, guys, I'm gonna get beat up. He's gonna. I'm gonna see this. Slim guy with a fucking headband on. I'm going to be like, oh, no. Oh, I know you just leveled. I saw the lighting. Ding, 46. <sighs> yes. I did I do, all the work. I do go to Canada, so you better believe me. Dude, I did all the work there. You were out there bouncing around, dude. I was stuck behind that fence doing all the work. You know this, it. Look at this caveman back here. What is this? All right, you ready, Curtis? We're going to hearth. All right, let's hearth out of here. I have to do all the work in this. Right. All right, guys, so that was one epic show of noob school by winning. Can I get an amen, Curtis? <laughs> All right, dude, that was pretty epic. I, I won. Yeah. I'm into winning. Hopefully, it's not so one-sided next time, right? <laughs> well, next time, I hope you pull your weight, buddy, because <laughs> when I pull my weight, that that's a lot of pull, if you know what I mean, really. <laughs> um, I know exactly what you mean. I'm on a diet, damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're good. Oh my we're good. Stay tuned so for the done. next episode, folks, of Noob School yeah. by Winning. That was awesome. Yes, indeed. Thumbs right. this shit up! If you want to <laughs> see some dungeons or battlegrounds, let us know. Okay, that does it. All right. Bye-bye, folks.